What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Let me just say, when it comes to this interracial dating thing, it is a very difficult situation. Very difficult. And um, it's controversial on both sides. But I want to talk about something here if I can. And that is the fact that black women tend not to like it. And I get it. But then they always say, as long as the black man that got a white woman don't insult black women, we don't have a problem with it. We have found out that is a lie. I'm going to prove it to you. You have several black men out there who just live their life not bothering black women, even publicly giving black women a certain level of respect. I would even say Jeezy. You know, they, they at least talk a good game. Michael B. Jordan, at the time, Jonathan Majors, you know, they would always be dating interracially, but they would always be publicly thanking black women and all this other stuff, right? Black women still took a lot of offense to that, and I can understand why they would. But at the same time, some of them are saying, as long as you don't disrespect black women. Okay, let's look at Jamie Foxx. Jamie Foxx is a notorious white women dater. Notorious. He's been doing it for years. Everybody knows it. We all know it. Who doesn't know it? Okay, we all know it. Jamie Foxx has never publicly abused black women. You know, they go to his shows, they support his content for years. But black women are upset right now. Uh, For somebody they know that is not largely interested in dating them, has not been for like 20 years. And on the Atlanta Black Star has has written this article, Jamie always been into bunnies. Fans can't believe Jamie Foxx reportedly wants marriage and kids with new girlfriend Alice Huckstep. Now, Alice Huckstep is, you know, what some ladies would call a plain Jane. You know, like, why is he so into her? And of course, this is something that they're upset about. Okay, he almost died a few months ago. Didn't know if he was going to live. And after recovering... He's in love with this young white lady. Okay. He's in love with this white lady. And the question is, why not the black? That's the question. This is what gets black women into a bunch. Why not the blacks? Let me just say this. Because Jamie Foxx is not a pro-black. Jamie Foxx is black, but he's not a pro-black. He doesn't owe anybody any explanation as to why. But the fact is, you have people out here who want Jamie Foxx to be with a black woman. And that's great. As, as some black women that I see out there with white men, I shoot, I wish I could have a shot at. But the, the, the situation is this. The question is, what about the black men that are interested in you? Because you're not going to be able to get everybody. If I could snap my finger and make all of our talented blacks be together, I would do it. Something wrong with blacks to Jamie Foxx, it it would have to be. He ain't interested no more. He, He used to be interested. He ain't interested now. Why does he only like white women? I don't know. I don't know. Why Serena Williams with a white man? I don't know. But what we need to be more concerned with is this situation is happening more often for black men. A lot. And where there's smoke, there's fire. This is what a lot of sisters don't want to deal with, unfortunately. And I'm not trying to make this all their fault, but there is smoke and there is fire for sure. 
Let's look at Alice Huckstep and how she dresses, how she presents herself. Doesn't have on anything outrageous. Okay. Very plain. Very basic. Normal looking lady. Not out there in the public. Probably very submissive. Now, when y'all talk about black men dating, you know, average looking white women, you're talking about looks. And I get that. But but a lot of these guys that have these kind of wives are talking about also usually behaviors. Okay? This is what he wants to be in a relationship with long term. We, we're not talking about, you know, what, what gets you ready to go at nighttime at the Motel 6. We're talking about something that, you know, you want to be with. And don't get me wrong. You definitely got black women out there that can do this. You got African women out there that can do it. I, I know it, right? Because we see it. He can get it. But, but the reality is, is that you're going to have some of these men, the black men or black women, that ain't even going to have, they, they're going to give up on the race. We know it. It's unfortunate. We know it. They're only going to be black uh, publicly, Black Lives Matter marches. You know, when there's getting racism, oh, we black. That's when you're going to hear. That's when you're going to hear. You will not, however, hear it. Okay. That's when you're going to hear it, guys. But unfortunately, these guys are going to leave. They have been leaving. Our other black men are also leaving the, the black dating world. Ever heard of Passport Bros? All right. It's not getting better. It's getting worse. And we got to look at what are the marriage materials or opportunities for black men? Seriously, we're not talking about are they good? Are they good enough, looking enough to, 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 to marry and wife up? We're not talking about that. We're talking about for a successful black man, can he find in the black America what he wants as a wife onto his level? He can, but I'm going to tell you what it's going to also be. It's going to be a lot of work. A lot of work. A lot of going back and forth with things. A lot of, a lot of developing on both sides. A lot of not getting the picture of the relationship. A lot of working. A lot of brothers are not willing to go through what they consider is going to be the struggle like that. To stay in the black community. A lot of brothers are not going to do that. A lot of brothers are going to come with what they feel is ready-made. I'm not saying that sisters are not ready-made. I'm saying what they feel is ready-made. I'm telling you that's exactly what's going to happen. It's what's been happening. You know, people in the community don't want to come in and stick with the black community and say, all right, I'm going to fight it out with our women. Um, you know, she wasn't raised by a, a father or I wasn't raised by a father. Let's try to go ahead on and figure it out. A lot of our brothers like, you know, I just can't, ain't got that kind of time, man. You know, it's hard, bro. Let me just go with who who's ready to be married right now. If it happens to be somebody not black, fine. And then when they say that, it, it, it happens to be somebody not black. You know, if they have that, you know, opportunity. A lot of black men won't touch nothing but a black woman, which is usually the truth. I'm one of those guys. But some brothers are going to take it to another level. So, guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Appreciate you for all you just heard the bell. We're out.